Carroll coming in from southern end of Carroll Noble and defended straight away. <laughs> Played straight back down the ground by Cartwright. That's a beautiful piece of stroke play. That's nicely played down the ground by Philippi. Should get to the rope quite comfortably. Working today, which is good. Here we go, Bonjour. Played off the toes and through the field. He's hit this pretty well. I didn't think he had a, enough of it to get to the boundary, and it does hit the rope now. Driving through cover four. Wow, that's glorious. Aren't they? Partnership just over 50 now. He's down the wicket, driving over mid on. That's going to go down to the rope. Uh, here's the next one. In the air, and again, a repeat of the previous delivery. And it might be six more, I fancy. Up go the arms of the umpire. So the half century for Josh Phillippe, 76 balls, two sixes in a row, and seven fours. Great Australian cricketing names. That's a powerful shot out through extra cover. Another boundary to Phillippe. So coming up with drinks here in a moment or so. Down the leg side, gets it away fine, and that'll be a boundary for... That time up in the air, there's no one out there, and it'll just float over the head. One bounce four. Here's Grant. Again, there it is, that pull shot. Not worried whatsoever with the fielders. He cuts the gap in half, and I agree with that too. Comes down the ground. Big, huge. big strike. That's well over the cameraman. That's going to bounce... On a port road. Thrown up and it's gone straight up in the air. Underneath it, Jake Lehman takes the catch and gets the wicket. Lloyd Pope successful. First wicket of the morning. Short and disappointing delivery there and well put away by Hilton Cartwright. And that'll be his 50. So a good shot to reach the half century. 106 balls for Cartwright. And Lloyd Pope in this over, just not up to the task just at the minute. And another one, this time square up towards us. Six more. And he's off the mark finally. He'll get that away back with a point. It'll roll down the hill towards the boundary. So, can't run on strike. Gets that one away fine, past the diving carry, and they'll race down to the boundary for four more. In the south Australian side here. Slower, shorter, hit in the air. Will he be caught on the boundary? Yes, he will. Good catch taken by Jake Weatherall. So, balls a bit of rubbish, gets a wicket. Often happens with the leg spinner. Thrown up and driven in the air over the top of short cover. And rolling away to the boundary. Edged, and what a fantastic catch from Gary. An absolute blinder from the SA keeper. Debut. Coming down the wicket again. This one high in the air. Got a point. Is it out? Yes, it is. Third one for Lloyd Pope. Now to Josh Inglis. He'll look to start the fireworks. He does just that. It's up here in the Karen Rolton box with us. Big six there from Josh Inglis. Hit him on the back pad. Joel Paris likes it. So does the umpire. Weatherall has to go. He's out LBW and the breakthrough comes. Here we go. Driven down the ground. Good shot. This will be the first boundary of the South Australian innings. Cuts really, really strongly there, Henry Hunt. Just a bit too short and wide from Cameron Green and capitalised. Five wickets. And nice looking drive from Hunt through the covers and out to the boundary for four. So finally a half volley from Green. Cut for four. Just a little wide. And Henry Hunt. Cuts away. That's going to fly to the rope. Nice shot there, Jake Carter. He's got his second four for the innings. Um. Driving through cover. This is a pretty shot from Hunt. It's going to roll all the way to the rope. That's a lovely shot by Henry Hunt. He's really starting to... Driving again. Almost a carbon copy. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Henry Hunt. This one worked off the legs. That's a nice shot from Jake Carter, and that's going to roll down the hill and hit the rope as well. Four ball drives. Beats the field. This will be four. 
Save your legs, Jake. First innings wrapped up there. As that one's hooked down the leg side, and a pickle for caught behind, and he's walked. It's all over for Hunt. The second wicket falls for South Australia. Two down for 68. And Hunt, a promising innings of 36, comes to an end. This time does drive really, really well. That's a boundary for Carter. It's just gone past the slips cordon. It's found a way to go to the boundary. It's zipped away there too off Cameron Green's bowling. Again, there's that shot once more. Same result. So South Australians will be happy. Eight runs in two balls off Cameron Green. But Travis Head, I reckon, really wicked of Weatherall. And Travis Head tries a second time through that area, and this time cashes in, gets himself a nice boundary, a bit of reward. Be done. That time, front foot was pretty close to over. It doesn't matter. They're going to get runs from that delivery. Travis Head whips that nicely. Beautiful timing through mid-wicket. Cut. Back with a point, four runs. Work to the leg side. This is a nice shot from Carter. And has it got the legs to get to the rope? It has. Despairing dive, but it's four runs. Down leg side, and that beat Inglison is going to race away for four more. Four wide signalled. Travis hit on strike. He's gone big. He's gone really, really nice through cover. Bread and butter stuff that from Travis Head. He goes to 40 with that. And that time he finally punches through point successfully. He gets to 50. His first time for South Australia and the third time he's done so in Shield cricket. Yeah, Locke's had a beautiful start to his career here. Hopefully he can... That's nicely punched through the gap. Will it have the legs up to get to the boundary? It looks pretty good from here. It will get there. That one's uh, short and wide, and Travis Head will get some runs here as he squirts that past Gully. Comes back for two, ends the over and ends the day's play. So the South Australians will remain at two for 164 at the end of the day's play. Travis Head on 45.